So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome back to another video in which we'll be taking a look at how we can make use of this particular value which is being passed in the context provider using the use context hook. So I'm going to bring in use context first of all. Secondly, it's pretty darn simple. What I'm going to do is just go ahead and create a variable saying state, right? Now you can just name it anything and I'm going to pass in use context but this use context needs the context which i'm accessing so this would be my context right which is the this, this particular context right and once you hit save and basically if you do a console.log as well just in case you want to see what we're going to see is inside console the state looks something like okay we have some warnings here obviously because of this thing so let's just fix this real quick and what we see here h1 cannot appear as a uh, p whatever right so let's just go ahead and fix this as well so now so here we can see that we have the same object name as mehul which we passed right here so let's just pass in some more props and see prop as random see what we have you can see that basically whatever we pass in right here is directly reflected as the um, state here. So we can just go ahead and make use of hello state dot name something like that and it will just work out of the box right. Similarly what happens if I go ahead and use this as a state variable itself. So I'm going to say object set object and i'm going to say use state and this would be the object right and now i'm going to pass in the object right here right so now if you are being um cheesy what you can do is you can just say state is object and set state is set object right so now you're passing in two values the first one is state which is your main object itself and also you're passing in set state which is the setter function of this particular object so what happens is now if i go ahead and destructure state and set state from here and what i do is inside a effect use effect maybe if i go ahead and say set timeout after one second i want to set state and i want to set the state whatever the state is to be the default state first of all and I want to update the name to um, let's see I want to update the name to something cool why not right so once we have that in place what we have is I want this for only for the first render and once we do that it would change right so let's just go ahead and hit save and see what happens so what we have in here is um all right so we have some warning well because set state won't be changing so i'm not going to pass it here anyway so we saw that we started off with hello mehul and after a second it changed to hello something cool right so this is because set state changed this particular object and this got changed this got re-rendered this got passed again and here we are right so yeah that's pretty much how the things would work and i'm just gonna pretty much go ahead here and pass in the object only here and you know how you can update this object basically and you're gonna get a similar behavior so i'm just gonna make this as state and you can just create another component my component two and basically just go ahead and do the same thing but this time you know for any other component purpose and this would absolutely work fine right so this works fine even though if i place it inside here this would still oops not here but actually right here right so this would still work fine right so yeah we have some warnings and stuff but it doesn't matter so that's that's how it should work right so this is how use context works 
This is how create context works in react and that's all for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you then in the next one.